Here we go, we are live and uh, welcome to all strangers and uh, lovers. So, again, how we will start today is by standing, shoulder width, feet planted. Feet planted so the knees are soft, hips are hinged back and you've got that nice open tightness starting to occur. And what we're gonna do is bring the hips back. As we bring the hips back, the hands are gonna go down the thigh, and they're gonna go over the knee, and they're gonna go down the shin, and due to your flexibility, they're gonna go down as far as they can without rounding your upper back. You wanna get your hamstrings pretty damn tight, and feel the open back, sorry, feel the lower back open up. And when you reach that point, we're just gonna pause. Just pause, wherever your fingers are, wherever your hands are, just place them on the body part that they are close to, or even the floor, however your flexibility is. And we are going to take a deep breath in. The deep breath will last for five seconds, and then we will immediately blow those five seconds out with a six second exhale. And we do that three times. So when you're ready, we do that now. Five. And then we let it go for six. We stay where we are. We're gonna go in for five. Feel that belly rise. And then we're gonna let it go for six. One more time, I'm gonna take that breath in for five, through the nose, feel the belly rise, expand the belly, and then let it go for six. Now we're gonna take a deep breath in, it will last for seven seconds, and we will find ourselves upright once again. So when you're ready, we go in now for seven. Take that deep breath in, bring your fingers, sliding them up the shin, over the knee, up the thigh, right to the top, and then breathe all that air out for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna repeat the hip hinge. Take a deep breath in, we go in for six, and we travel all the way down again, back to the position that we were in before. And when we are there, we're gonna hold it. As we hold it, we're gonna hold that breath as well. Hold that breath for another four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna let the air go, let the air go for five, four, three, two, one, and just become present with your breath right now. Pay attention to your breath. Through the nose, out the mouth, and then slide your fingers, if they're not there already, slide them on the floor. So I've got my fingers making contact with the floor. If you've got your palms making contact, then that is super cool. You are super flexible. So what we're gonna do is walk the fingers or the hands out, and we're gonna create a V of your body. So the downward facing dog. When our palms are flat, we wanna make sure that our heels are also flat. My heels are not flat because I am zero flexible in the ankle region. So thoughts will go towards the area and they will persuade the heels to flatten themselves down onto the floor or at least make the attempt to do so and that's exactly where i would like you to be as we're in the downward facing dog we are going to push the ground away and we are going to bring the hips slightly back which will then automatically lower our head towards the floor lower our chest towards the floor and we're gonna get a deeper stretch on the calves, hamstrings, glutes, and open up that lower back. We're then gonna collapse the knees, so we go into the tabletop. As we're in the tabletop now, one of our feet are gonna come and they're gonna be in front of our opposite knee. So you want your foot in front of the knee. And from there, what we're gonna do is Settle our chest slowly towards the floor, collapsing the elbows, allowing the body to gently 
fall to the ground. When you get to the point that your arms have made contact with the floor, so from the elbow to the wrist, they are now on the floor. And then what you're gonna do is pull your hands in, if they're not already, cradle your bent knee, and then just settle into your bent knee. So we go into the pigeon stretch, feeling those glutes, hip flexors, outer hips, all open up. And we're just gonna be present. We're gonna direct our attention to the stretch. We're gonna take a breath in through the nose. It will last for five seconds. We will then blow the air out for six seconds. And we do that now. Five. And we let it go for six. We go in for five. And we let it go for six. We go again in for five. And we let it go for six. One last time, we go in for five. And we let it go for six. Becoming now present with your breath, paying attention to the way that the air is going in through the nose, circling around your body, feeling your body take all of that oxygen, transferring it all around, getting that nutrient rich blood, occupy the space of the now open tightness that you've now experienced with your muscles. Feeling the stretch, feeling your body open up, just accepting, not judging, be opening, be welcoming. And then slowly we're gonna come out of that trance and we're gonna bring our hands out so that they allow us to bring our upper body up and we're back into the semi tabletop. Release the bed leg, bring it back to the original position so you're now in the original tabletop. And what I would like you to do is just sink your lower back further to the ground so your belly is hanging. And this will be the cat stretch. Bring in the head up. This is the cow stretch. I always get them mixed up. So by being in the cow stretch, deep breath in, four seconds, we go in now. Four, hold, four. Let the air go, four. Hold, four. Take a deep breath in for four, and then bring the lower back up, bring the shoulder blades rounded down, chin into the chest, hold the breath, and we are now in the cat. Allow the breath to come out for four. Hold the breath for four. And we breathe in for four and go back into the cow. Hold the breath for four. Let the air go for four. Just let it go. Hold the breath for four. and take a deep breath in for four and go back up to the cat. Hold the breath for four. Allow the air to escape for four. Hold the breath for four. Take a deep breath in for five, find ourselves back into the tabletop. Shoulders retracted back, elbows nice and soft, feeling a little bit of pressure in the wrists. 
lower back curved. Just be present with your breath, feeling that breath come in once again, escaping, coming in with the good, and let the bad go. Wherever your mind is right now, bring it back to the breath. Feel all that goodness coming into the body, circling around the body. Allowing whatever thoughts that are not serving you to escape and bring in thoughts that will serve you. Bring them in, allow them to circulate. Feeling positive, feeling vibrant, allowing frequency, tuning in, plugging in, you want to plug into the breath, feel that goodness come in, allow the toxins to come out, feel the good, let go of the bad, good thoughts, great thoughts, super thoughts, mystic thoughts, channeling thoughts, welcoming thoughts, superior thoughts, not on a hierarchy level, just high-end thoughts, feel-good thoughts, joy, what brings you joy. Take a moment, take a deep breath in, it'll be your count. When you take that deep breath in, feel the joy. Take it to the place that gives you the joy. Allow your belly to hang, feel the lower back curve, Allow your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists to keep you light, not heavy. And as we come out of that thought, still keeping it within us, we're going to bring the other foot up so that it comes to the opposite side of the original position you was in. So, should have your heel in front of your knee. And what we're going to do once again taking a deep breath in, it will be your breath as we collapse the elbows and then subtly, softly, slowly, your upper body is going to travel down towards that bent leg and our forearms, elbows to the wrist, they will find themselves flush to the floor. Once they find themselves flush to the floor, your upper back will be rounded, your lower back will be open, your hip will be felt and your glutes will also join in and what you are stretching now mainly is your piriformis that muscle that connects the lower back to the glutes finds itself opening up the side of the hips we go for the box breath again we go in for four seconds we go in now four we hold for four, and this time we go out for five. Breathe in for four through the nose. Hold the breath for four, and allow the escape of the air for five. Hold the breath for four. And we take a deep breath in once again for four. Hold the breath for four. Let the air go for five. Hold the breath for four. And we're gonna do that one more time. Breathe in for four. Hold the breath for four and gently ease that stretch a little bit more further. And let the air go for five. Hold the breath for four. And pay attention to your breath now. Reset. Feel the belly rise. Feel the belly fall. As that is acting, 
automatically your hands are going to then get into a position where they can leverage your upper body up so you're back into the semi tabletop and we're going to take the foot away bring it back meeting the other foot dig your toes into the ground you're now in the tabletop curl your toes to the ground push the ground away a little bit feel your toes being pushed to the floor opening up the ball of the foot the ball of the feet opening them up really feeling that open stretch getting a nice base of the foot opened up paying respect to those parts that do an incredible job every single day taking you wherever you want to go just channeling your energy right now into the foot feel the vibrations feel the frequency of the stretch that you are offering your feet push the ground away dig the toes in the ground and feel the opening bottom of the feet just open up giving them the respect that they deserve and then release the pressure on your feet still applying a little bit of pressure to the floor softening the elbows softening the shoulders we're going to push the ground away and the hips are going to go back now push the ground away hips go back outer lats get stretched and we go into this prayer stretch really opening up lower back feeling the hips already lubricated already open and just agreeing with what your body is doing you're going to come back up to the tabletop slide your hands further down towards the knees dig your toes into the ground elevate your knees from the ground so we go into the floating tabletop then we're going to slowly straighten the legs out so that we can go into the downward facing dog, the V fold. And we are going to walk our feet towards our hands, keeping the fingers or the hands flat on the floor, sliding the fingers now over the top of the foot and then making our way up to the top, sliding our fingers up the shin, over the knee, up the thigh, until we become straight, release the hands away from the body, and we get a massive supine stretch. And right here, we are gonna feel all of that resolve from the dissolve that has occupied the space from lower to upper, real deep supine stretch. Allow the hands, allow the arms to come down, big semicircle, all the way down, release the energy of what was holding the arms up and just allow that circulation to do its thing taking a deep breath in through the nose, coming out the mouth. 10 more seconds, be present with your breath, accept what your body's giving you, and feel your way to absolute greatness. Thanking you, thanking you.